Very good to be here. Uh, before you go back home, can I take a few questions? Sure. Tell us a little bit about your early life. When and where you were born, high school education, and how old you were when you settled here. Oh, okay. Uh, I was just born here in Louisville, in the west end of Louisville. Uh, and I was, I was born in um, 1934. Father owned a neighborhood grocery store uh, at 18th and uh, Greenwood, and uh, our parish at that time was St. Peter's, which was on uh, Breckenridge uh, Road, and um, that was just a, some walking distance from uh, the grocery store at 18th and Greenwood, and we lived behind the grocery store. My, and I, I'm the oldest of of uh, five children. I have three sisters and a brother. Unfortunately, my younger brother uh, passed away in a, a few years ago at the age of uh, 58. Um, and uh, uh, when World War II started, um, right before it began, mother and dad were planning to build a house on Ficus, which was out near um, uh, Gonquin Parkway. And, but rations were made by the government, so we couldn't get material to build the house. So we um, moved to a house at uh, 3507 Vermont, um, and we changed parish parishes, of course. It was much further away than the, than the Holy Cross uh, Parish at 32nd and Broadway. I was um, I went to uh, St. Peter's in the first and second grade, and um, was made my first Holy Communion in the second grade, and then when I went down to St. Uh, uh, Holy Cross, uh, I started in the third grade, and remained there until uh, 1979 when I graduated, and I went to the seminary uh, the following. Fall um, at St. Mary's College uh, in Marion County, and I was there for eight, uh, let's see, four, uh, six years, four years of high school, two years of college, and uh, am I giving you too much? <laughs> oh, no, 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 that's a good amount, that's a good amount. Thank yeah, you, thank yeah. you. Um, what are the morals you learned earlier in life that helped shape you into the person you are today? What was the, the first uh, first part of it? Um, what are the morals you morals, learned okay. earlier in life that helped you shape into the person you are today? Well, I think um, being the oldest boy in the family um, made me have uh, took more of, of a felt that I had to give my all for my brother, my three sisters and my brother. Um, going to the seminary, of course, was uh, so where it was built upon my um, my desires to uh, get involved in the church. Because uh, when I was at Holy Cross, I, um, I was an altar boy and I was in the choir. And um, uh, so those uh, issues were uh, significant in my life, and um, uh, at St. Mary's, um, it was an in enjoyable experience. Uh, it was difficult. It was asked, uh, a lot of demands were made uh, to um, get good grades and uh, to be a person that uh, was trustworthy, and um, so I think that the seminary, of course, obviously being in the seminary tw uh, uh, six years at uh, St. Mary's, and then I finished up at St. Minor's, went to St. Minor's in Indiana uh, for my final uh, education. And I was ordained in 1959, uh, May the 23rd. So, you know, the, the seminary had a big Well, it, when I was
was in grade school at Holy Cross, uh, probably was Bill, Bill Tank was an associate uh, pastor, and he put on a couple of plays, and I was in the play. Um, I, I was very much in those days, uh, we went to the movies because there was no television in, in, when I was growing up, and um, we went to the movies uh, twice a week. On Sunday, we would go to uh, a, a, a theater on Market Street, and then on uh, Friday nights, we would go to a, mo a movie house, Shawnee, uh, uh, on, that was on Broadway. Uh, I think it was at, uh, on 49th and Broadway. And um, went to the seminary, and we had, um, I was in the choir, and I started, uh, I got in plays that, the, that we did at the seminary and put, it, put it together. And, and then I directed uh, in one act uh, in, at St. Manridge. Uh, so that's, I guess that's pretty much the found, uh, foundation. You know, if I, if I give you too much, let me know. <laughs> well, have done something different than this building that we're in uh, because um, you know, we had no uh, we didn't have enough back space in the back of this church uh, of this building um, the uh, what was it I guess the oh we didn't uh, you don't have we don't have much room on either side of the stage in other words what had happened was the major part of this building was already here. And instead of knocking it down and uh, rebuilding a, a whole different uh, image of, of the building, uh, I would have made it wider and uh, bigger and, and like an orchestra pit. And there's no um, way to pull uh, drapes up into the ceiling. You know, the, most theaters uh, have uh, a high uh, roof on the over the stage so that uh, uh, things that you want to get bring down uh, either uh, uh, what, what do they call them the curtains uh, and the images on on the curtains uh, would be brought down but here the you were limited to how, how much we could do as the building itself having it effective. But it, we get around. <laughs> um, how did you come up with the idea of building a theater park here? Well, I started the program in 1967. Um, and we had no theater here. This was uh, a community building uh, owned by I don't know who it was. And um, we did our plays down at uh, St. Francis of Rome. They had a they have a huge uh, theater down there, a uh, huge stage, 50, 50 feet wide. Uh, I guess that's one of the reasons why I had trouble with this this idea of uh, here. But uh, the the uh, I had a 50 uh, foot opening of the stage, and uh, I had to the the place had not been used for theater because the Actually, where the stage was, uh, it was large enough for a basketball floor, so you can imagine. So behind the stage, we used it for dressing and, and uh, putting on makeup and so on. And I had to buy a, a curtain for the stage, so you could close it and open it as an op when the play is in ac action. Um, I had students from the art pro program here at Trinity to come and design sets and to do the painting of the sets, just like you do now. And um, we, so we were there uh, until um, we did our last show in 1970. Let's see, I forget when it was uh, exactly what. I think I was down there three years or so. So it was, it was about, um, uh, let's see, 
doesn't do actually get uh, Cam, no, wait a minute. I'm sorry, I gave you the wrong one. I, I came I went down there in nineteen sixty seven. That's when it was. Because I came from the Vicar David. After teaching there six years, um, it was in the 60s that I came down. So he uh, did uh, sh some big shows and stuff. We, the theater was seats. It was uh, about uh, 800 people or so. And it had, but it had uh, wooden seats. They weren't very comfortable. <laughs> um, so then, I, I, because it was not close to the, the, our campus here, I wanted to bring it uh, closer so that uh, the, the uh, students would be more attracted to it. And so we started the uh, little theater that I showed you the other day uh, where we could seat 100 and, uh, 103 or 105 people in a small theater. And of course, we just ran more and more of the uh, productions word I want uh, just to have the people to come and see the show give them more opportunity so we had different times for for each of the shows there and then um, we moved into this building in 1980 Last part, Cindy. What goes through your head while watching something that you think is great? Oh, well, I'm very proud of w the fact that it's still in existence. When I left uh, Trinity in 1985 uh, to become pastor of St. Raphael, um, I wanted to make sure that because I left, the theater was going to continue. And so I Mr. Bradford to come here in 1972, I think it was. Uh, he was teaching at Bishop David at the time. Um, and uh, of course, it's now called Holy Cross. And um, he came and we became a team. Uh, I used to do everything. I used to do the uh, props and I, and I used to do uh, uh, the, the production and director, everything, except I did have help from students, and there was Father Moore, who was the art teacher here at that time. Um, he did the makeup for me, and and uh, he took care of getting the set painted properly and designed properly. Um, and uh, so this, coming uh, back here and seeing that before I left, I hired uh, Ray Seisel uh, to be the producer, which, which was my job, and then Mr. Bradford because he was he had a degree in uh, the arts from Notre Dame that he was the one better to to, to direct the shows, and uh, of course we would sit down. The two of us would sit down and uh, choose what show we were going to do. Uh, in advance, so. What are some of your favorite? Yeah. You've run out of film? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs>